I welcome everyone on Europedia and my this particular video is related to the exam of examiner pattern and design which is going to be conducted by Quality Council of India and that is under Ministry of Commerce and Industry, Controller General Patent Design and Trademarking. Now there are so many seats for biotechnology students. Europedia has not launched the you know uh, conventional paper that is subjective paper for biotechnology students, we have not done that. But yes, we have launched the you know paper, this uh, uh, paper writing style, writing uh, uh, style paper checking module for biotechnology students also, in which we will be providing you question. Our mentors will be providing you question, and you are supposed to write the answer for that, and then we will give you the feedback how you have written that. Writing style is very very important in this paper because uh, this paper is of 300 marks, subjective paper in mains. And uh, if your writing style is good, then in 300 marks you can create a difference of not less than 40 to 50 marks, you can do that. And 40 to 50 marks is a really big chunk of marks where you know you can create a difference and you can get selected in this very prestigious job. So uh, in today's lecture, uh, I have jotted down some questions and their answers, how you should write the answer. Document of this is also available, you can take that from website of Europedia. So this mains exam is of 300 marks, paper 2 as I already told you, 300 marks bohut jada important hote hain. and this module of your PDA is for all branch of students and biotechnology means there are 50 seats. So you multiply that 50 with you know uh, uh, 20 times, so they are going to call 1000 students from biotechnology because preliminary se 1000 students mains mein jayenge only biotechnology ke. And jitne bhi seats hain unka I think 5 times that means 250 students are going to be in the interview and eventually 50 students will become examiner patent and design. So biotechnology is a very good uh, uh, domain hai aap students ke liye, uh, followed by other also equally uh, good number of other students also. So as we believe that practice is very very important for writing practice is very important for scoring good in this particular paper and writing style is very very important. And this is my conviction, this is my belief that uh, if your writing style is good, then 300 marks ke paper mein aap 50 marks ka difference dal sakte ho for the same content compared to your competitor. Now, uh, what is good writing uh, style that uh, I told you many times in previous videos also, good writing style means uh, aapka beautiful writing hona chahiye, legible hona chahiye, pada jana chahiye, paragraphing bohut achha hona chahiye, point wise explanation hona chahiye, uh, schematic diagrams tumhe banani hai, examples tumhe dene hai, formulas and equations uske andar agar hai to aapko usko likhna hai and agar koi important point hai to usko underline kar dijiye aap and left or right mein balance proper tarike se karna hai and word limits ko follow karna hai aapko and uh, equation agar koi hai aapke formula hai to usko equation number dena hai, headings aur sub headings mention karne hai, body structure, introduction se conclusion tak bahut achhe tarike se karna hai, table, chart and diagrams aapko show karni hai if everything is there, all these ingredients are there in your answer, then your answer style is good. Now, let me start with the first question and you know these questions were provided to me by my mentors of biotechnology and the solution also they provided as a reference student. What is DNA fingerprinting? So in your syllabus if you see DNA fingerprinting must be one topic. What is DNA fingerprinting? What are its application? And explain the steps involved in DNA fingerprinting. Ab tum dekh rahe ho, ye question, this question is made up of three parts, three components. And in your answer all three parts should get reflected. In your answer the headings, the paragraphs, the points, everything should get reflected properly. Now let me tell you how it is to be approached. So first part is what is DNA fingerprinting? Because the question is what is DNA fingerprinting? So it should, you know, it should start with the explanation of DNA fingerprinting. And when you explain what is DNA fingerprinting, in that also if you feel like dividing that particular entire answer, ye heading to aapko aise hi likhna hai. Uske baad bhi agar aapko lagta hai ki ek line aur dusri line ke vich mein theme change ho raha hai. There is a change of the theme then you can mention it accordingly. That should also be there. Then after explaining okay this is the genetic makeup of living things, this shows that something like that. Aur jo maine lal rang se likha hai that means you are supposed to underline it. The moment you underline it, the paper checker will focus on that. You, you understand that right. So ek to bohut achhe tarike se likhna hai and then you have to underline that. And if the theme is getting changed, you have to write with the another paragraph right. Second question was what are the applications. 
Now, what are the applications? Maybe there are three, four, five applications. These applications you have to write point wise. But before you start writing anything point wise, there should be a couple of lines in the paragraph form. There should be a couple of lines in the paragraph form uh, where you are explaining what is the application. So, uh, techniques of fingerprinting is used for DNA analysis in forensic test and paternity test. Other than this, you know, there is a determining the frequency of the particular gene in a population and then, you know, which gives rise to diversity and then there is a gen genetic uh, drift, there is a fingerprinting can be used to trace change in evolution. So, there is a sort of one paragraph and after that, the application of DNA, DNA fingerprintings can be mentioned as below. Now, you can write all the applications and in that each application, what is the most important point or a word you should underline it. Like, Forensic studies, you underline it. Similarly, crime scenes, underline it. Uh, level of polymorphism morphism in non-coding repetitive sequence, underline it. So, as per my mentor, the most important lines are this, sir, and this should be underlined. So that you should make the life of paper checker easy. If you make his life easier, then you will always score more. That is how you are supposed to do. Then keep on underlining this. That is the application part. And after that, you know, what are the fingerprinting steps? Again, before you mention the steps, you should write a paragraph, okay, whatever you know that, okay, these are the steps which are to be followed. I am writing each thing on one particular slide, but when you write the answer, see that in the PDF form, we have already shared PDF with you. So, in the PDF, you will find the answer, standard answer for all of these and this is how you have to mention it. And then what are the steps? So, step wise, if there are steps, you can write in this way. So, when I asked my mentor, should he write in this arrow form? He said, yes, sir, because the paper checker will check it. And if he'll say arrow, 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 he has made the steps and everything, then obviously you are going to get more marks into this. So, if you write everything like this, you are going to score really good marks out of 10 marks, maybe you can get 7.5 to 8 marks. But suppose handwriting is not good, paragraph you have not made, steps you have not shown, underlining you have not done, then you may get somewhere 6.5 marks. So, out of 10 marks, you can create for the same content, you can create a difference of 1 to 2 marks. On 10 marks may, if you create a difference of 1 to 2 marks, think of 300 marks may where you create a difference. So, that is what I am saying. I mean, 30 to 50 marks, you can create a difference. Now, similarly, next question is, what is difference between gene therapy and gene editing? Okay, done. So, first of all, difference between gene therapy and gene editing. First paragraph, headline you have to give and you have to write something like this. And red line is something which you have to underline. Okay, then what is gene therapy? Gene therapy, you explain. What do you mean by gene therapy? And in the gene therapy also, first gene therapy was accomplished in this particular year. Gene therapies can work at by the several mechanisms. So, you can mention something about the gene therapy. Obviously, we have to give some answer of gene therapy. We mentioned about that. And then what is the meaning of gene editing? That also we can give. Sometimes question will be 5 to 6 marks. And how many words we should write? Num marks multiplied by 10 should be the words, roughly. 10 to 20 times should be this. So, if the question is of 10 marks, you should write somewhere around 10 sentences to 20 sentences unless until he has mentioned about the words limit also. If word limit is not given, I am giving you thumb rule. If the question is of 10 marks, word limit should be 100 to 200. Multiply it by 10 and maximum limit is 20. Next question is, what is gene therapy? What are its application and challenges? And all these answers, reference answers have already been provided by Europedia in the PDF form. You can check that. You can download from our website. So, what is gene therapy? Answers will remain same, which I discussed. Gene therapy, you explained. Some point wise also things you gave. And underlining part also you can do. Red, uh, red line mein bataya tha. You can do underlining also. And what are the applications of gene therapy? You can give some kind of typical applications of gene therapy. So, gene therapy you know are studied one or two lines you have to write first and then point wise you can explain what is the meaning of that. Similarly, you know challenges what are the various challenges related to gene therapy that also you can mention 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, these are the challenges following are the challenges and then the underline. So, this is how you have to write it. What is gene therapy? Explain the process of gene therapy. Obviously, that again can be a question. So, what is gene therapy? Again, the same answer I told you. And what are the processes involved? So, yes, now if there is a possibility of a diagram, if you can make a diagram, there is a possibility of diagram, you can make 1, 2, 3 as a diagram, figure you should make. And when you explain the things, now this is the diagram, very clearly you should make a diagram. Many students are asking, sir, should we use the pencil or something for the diagram? See, if you are confident that you need not to erase it, then use a black pen. 
black pen because it will uh, be there I mean it looks good but if you are not very sure and you need to remove it while making a diagram your diagram making is not very good then use the pencil and you know rubber so that if you make a mistake you can remove it something like that should be done very good diagram you have made and the diagram gives you marks then explain the diagram whatever you have uh, written in the diagram what you are explaining in the diagram explain that diagram clear terms mein. what is gene therapy explain its types again another question gene therapy ka same rahega jo main aapko bar bar bata raha hon. and then what are the various types okay it is of two types somatic and germline germline if i am pronouncing it properly somatic gene therapy mein kya aata hai most important lines you have to underline and then what comes in the germline gene therapy that also you explain so depending upon how many lines you can explain this answer what are the gene transfer technologies and what are their applications i am going going to explain you some day how you can take help of chat gpt but your intelligence should be far more than artificial intelligence of this software chat gpt ho gaya ya aise aur software ho gaya you can make use of these for your preparation for this particular exam so what is gene transfer technologies and what are its applications so first you explain what is what are the gene transfer technologies what do you mean by that and i am making this as a long question maybe of 20 30 marks so first gene transfer technologies and then what are the various gene transfer technologies so these are the names viral vectors transfection crispr then you know gene gun then micro injection electroporation these are all the types lipofection homologous recombination gene editing with talents so retroviral and bacterial transformation these all are the types so one one type heading and then in the red color you mark that red color means underline you mark that one one type and you explain it now what are the applications before you start writing application one two three four something like that you explain what are the applications of this and in the applications also gene therapy cancer treatment vaccine development and then you know stem cell engineering genetically modified basic research then drug development viral vector vaccine functional genomics these all are basically the type so if you write all these things and the way I told you how you have to write, if you can make a diagram, if you can write in a very good way, you score good. Now, listen to me carefully. 300 marks may say, if you want to score good, knowledge is one component, display of the knowledge is the another component. That is what your PDA is trying to help you in. Like in interview also, you carry the knowledge, but if you never practice interview, mock interview, you cannot display your knowledge in the interview. Similar to that, if you never practice writing, you cannot express your knowledge into a very good writing style, right? So good writing style will fetch you more marks and that is where uh, your PDA steps in. So start practicing with the mentors of your PDA. Every student has his peculiar problems in writing. We will tell you where those problems are and how you can improve. So all the very best. Looking forward to mentor you. Take this PDF and start preparing in this line. Thank you.